As the functional head of the strategy department, you're tasked with the responsibility of market expansion beyond the domestic market. You would be playing the role of an international business manager. It is your responsibility to understand the overall market potential of international markets and your ability to grow your products and look at various opportunities for your company's products outside the domestic market. Amongst various decisions, the two most critical decisions that you would need to take as the head of strategy is to determine the country of choice and the mode of entry. There is demand for your company's products outside your domestic market and you would need to narrow down your choices by reviewing various country information. Details of a country's economic, political, legal and cultural aspects are provided to you as information on the country information dashboard. The Geet Ofsted's model also gives you information on the cultural aspects and the cultural index of various countries that you are interested in. You would be in a position to review the demand for your products by toggling the product icon and selecting the year from the year drop down in order to view the demand across various quarters. After careful evaluation, having selected the country that you would like to target, you would now need to determine the mode of entry. In real life, as an organization, you would be in a position to enter international markets through different modes. You could either choose exporting or finding a joint venture partner, licensing your products, greenfield investments, amongst various options that you have. However, in this game, you would have two options. You would either be in a position to export your products or find a joint venture partner. Each of these decisions have their own impacts. If you choose to go with a joint venture partner, then the potential of closing a sales would be much higher. However, you would need to share the revenue with them based on the partnership percentage that you have agreed. But the primary advantage that you also get in going with a joint venture partner is, is local understanding of the overall market scenario. If you choose to export your products, you would be in a position to retain 100% of the revenue. However, you would need to know the market intelligence and have the local expertise in order to achieve higher sales numbers. Having decided on the mode of entry, you would need to enter the number of products that you would like to export and determine the price of your products. But before you do that, you would need to understand certain preconditions that you would need to take cognizance of. Under the precondition sections, you have certain preconditions that you would need to ensure before you make your decisions on the mode of entry. If you'd like to export your products, your exporter would require certain minimum consignment quantity in order to accept your export consignment. You would be in a position to ship any quantity greater than or equal to the minimum order quantity as mentioned here. For example, if you would like to export your products, Swift Micra, to Australia, you would need to meet a minimum consignment quantity of 50,000 units or greater, unless and until you enter a number which here, which is either greater than or, or equal to 50,000 units, you will not be in a position to proceed with your export decision. In the case of partnership, your partner also requires a minimum guarantee that you are in a position to meet the demand. So you would need to take cognizance of the minimum available production capacity. So this is your overall plant capacity that you have and the available plant capacity that you currently have when you're making this particular decision. Here in this case, you're required to maintain a minimum of 35% of available capacity in order to export your products to the international markets. And at the same time, the joint venture partner would also require the same minimum production capacity. The max price percentage increase from the domestic market indicates the price arbitrage that you have when you're trying to export or look at international markets. The value mentioned here indicates the price that you could actually set for your products greater than the domestic market price that you have. For example, for Swift Micra, the domestic market price that you have set is about 7,300. And if you would like 
to have a joint venture in Australia, you would be in a position to set a value which is 78% more than 7,300. Once you have made your decision with regards to the mode of entry, you would now be quizzed on your knowledge of the country's culture that you plan to do business with. You would need to be aware of the ways of doing business and the country's culture for you to transact with the people there. Based on your answers, the amount of sales that you would make would get impacted. Once you have answered all these questions and having submitted your decision, you could actually look at the overall performance by clicking on the performance tab and click on the strategy tab to understand the amount of sales that you have made and the revenue that you have secured. As the head of strategy, you hold the key to expanding your business outside the boundaries of the domestic market and achieving higher revenue figures. I hope you would have a great time making your decision.